Welcome to Hypnosis Health Info, I'm Roger Moore. You know folks, I, I talk a lot about obesity and childhood obesity and, and the fact that for the most part uh, obesity is, is preventable and, and there's a lot of tragic diseases that uh, result from, from obesity that are also preventable and things like diabetes for instance. And There was a report in, in uh, uh, WebMD from a couple days ago on December 11th of 2012. This is December 13th. And it's talking about the vision problems rising rapidly in the U.S. And it says, the diabetes and obesity epidemics may be fueling a dramatic rise in the number of people with vision problems, a new study suggests. Rates of vision problems that can't be treated with glasses or contact lenses known as non-refractive vision problems increased by 21% between two, two survey periods, 1999 to 2002 and 2005 to 2008. The findings suggest that as many as 700,000 more people developed these types of vision problems in a short amount of time. 700,000 people. Non-refractive Vision problems include glaucoma, macular de degeneration, cataracts, and diabetes-related eye disease. They are caused by underlying diseases. Many of these diseases are age-related and would not be expected to increase among young people. Diabetes, however, is occurring in younger and younger people. The increasing diabetes prevalence in the U.S. is leading to more vision loss. We have to recognize that this is a large public health problem so we can start developing methods to deal with it. And the findings appear in the December 12th issue of the Journal of American Medical Association. The number of people who have diabetes for more than 10 years has more than doubled in the last six or seven years. The new findings are likely just the tip of the iceberg. If current diabetes rates continue, we will see more and more people with diabetes and vision impairment. Preventing diabetes in the first place is key to preserving vision. This includes losing weight, eating a healthier diet, and getting regular exercise. If you have diabetes, make sure uh, get to get your eyes checked, as this type of vision loss is preventable. The findings should also serve as a wake-up call for teens and young adults who are at risk of diabetes. And I would add it should serve as a wake-up call for parents. Things are not looking good for you if you're overweight, not eating right, and not getting exercise. The non-refractive eye problems often strike older people, but diabetes is the great equalizer. So folks, here we are. You know, it's 2012, almost 2013. And, you know, we have all these amazing scientific breakthroughs that are going on. And, and you know, we have our smartphones and our iPads and our computers. And yet, we're doing things like eating junk food, eating processed foods, eating fat, salt, and sugar. We're eating too much food too fast. We're eating foods that... Uh, we're, we're using foods to, to handle our stress, to handle our emotions, and uh, we're not eating when we're truly physically hungry. We're eating for every other reason, and people then eat, again, too much food too fast and, and uh, just way overeat. And people are eating way, and drinking way too much uh, diet sodas and power drinks and all those things. And the result is people are getting fat, and they're getting sick. And the result of all that is our, our health care costs are escalating. I, I saw somewhere that, that our health care costs are taking up 20% of our gross national product. 20%. That's, that's just amazing. And we simply cannot afford this. We're bankrupting our nation. We're, we have the first generation of kids that have a shorter life expectancy than my generation since uh, the Civil War, that, that's just unconscionable and it's all preventable. And we can change that, we can fix it. Things that we can do as parents, and, or in my situation as grandparents, we can make sure that 
uh, in our households, we have foods that are healthy for our kids, for our grandkids. Foods that are vegetables, that are whole grains, that are fruit, that we get the junk out of the house. Get the Coke and Diet Coke and, and the Gatorades and the power drinks out of the house. Get the candy bars out of the house, the potato chips, the boxes of mac, mac and cheese. Get them out of the house. Have healthy food. Get our, our families out and active. Uh, go hiking, go roller skating, go swimming, go bowling. Just become more active with, with your family, with your kids, with your grandkids. And, and it, you can't sit there on the couch with the remote and eating you know, a, a bowl of chips and, and tell the kids to go outside and play. You have to get out there with them and go play with them. So set the healthy example. Eat healthy foods, the vegetables, the whole grains, the fruit. Eat slowly, eat consciously. Stop eating when your body says enough, no more. Now, how do you do that? Well, in my Seattle hypnosis office, in my Bainbridge Island hypnosis office, I use my weight loss program, Slender for Life. And I teach people the hypnosis weight loss skills that allow them to learn how to use self-hypnosis to put themselves in control. If I'm in control of me, I'm not going to be eating junk food and crap food. I'm not going to be uh, eating food to handle stress or upsetting emotions. I'm going to allow myself to work through the stress and, and manage that. I'm going to allow myself to feel the emotions that I feel without having to eat them. I'll eat when I'm hungry, make a healthy choice, stop eating when my body says enough, no more. And also with hypnosis, it works wonderfully to motivate myself to get out, to be active, to, to do the physical activities that, that I enjoy doing. So look at all the tools, the resources here at hypnosishealthinfo.com and at slenderforlife.com. And I have clients here in my, my office in downtown Seattle in the Medical Dental Building, over in Bainbridge Island, my office there. Once a month, I'm over in Forks. I have clients across the country and throughout the world that I see on Skype and, and other internet uh, connections and phone connections. So if I can be a support to you, let me know. You can give me a phone call at 206-903-1232 or send me an email, roger at hypnosishealthinfo.com. Now, you can go through the holidays, you can enjoy special holiday foods, but enjoy a cookie, not the whole tray. Or enjoy a piece of really, really good fudge, a, a small piece, not the whole box. But you can go through the holidays, enjoy the special foods without gaining weight. And then it's 2013. Don't just set New Year's resolutions. Take action. Make 2013 the year that you take control of what you eat, how much you eat, that you get out and get active, that you take weight off, that you reverse any, any obesity-related diseases like diabetes. It's reversible. You can do that. Make 2013 the year that that happens. And if I can support you, let me know. I'm Roger Moore. And this is Hypnosis Helping.